Hey guys, in today's video I wanted to share something with you that will really help you to manifest easier and quicker and basically step into your power as a powerful co-creator that you are. So I'm just going to be doing a voiceover for this video and I've paired it with random clips of me doing yoga. I create loads and loads of yoga if you want to check it out. Yoga is absolutely incredible. It's literally expanded my consciousness, healed my entire body. It's allowed my mind, body and soul to become as one in perfect harmony and balance. So let's jump right into the importance of this video. It's really important, you guys, that you digest this. So basically, whenever you're trying to manifest from the big things to the little things, remember it's all perception. What you perceive as big or small, from one pound to a million pounds, the universe can conjure it up both effortlessly, but it's how you perceive it. So basically take the importance out of your manifestation. Like there truly is no difference. If you can manifest one pound, you can manifest one million. It's just your perception. It's basically like the story that you tell yourself, which then becomes your belief. For example, like one million pound is out of your reach. So here's how I want to help you to take the importance out of your manifestation and this is what helped me because basically right let's simplify it down. Why do we want anything like why do we want to manifest anything and ultimately the answer to it is is because it makes us feel good like you wouldn't want anything that isn't going to make you feel good so ultimately all we really want is to feel good, right? So once you truly awaken and understand who you are, which is basically an infinite being, you are consciousness, you are awareness, you are God, you are divine. So your true nature is happiness, joy, love, peace. It is your natural state. You will no longer be seeking those feelings externally and you know that it's all within. Whenever you are feeling anything but happiness, it's because you are resisting your true higher self. Your true higher self is content at peace, happiness at one. And when you truly come to know this as your truth, you basically remove your manifestation off of the pedestal and you view it as though it would be a beautiful addition to your life but you know that it's not dependent on your happiness because happiness is who you are. Whenever you look for happiness externally it's almost like the ocean looking for water it's just it's like a, it's like one big cosmic joke people spend their entire lives seeking happiness externally when it all this whole time it's literally within you and you will find it in the present moment within the awareness and once you fully digest this into your subconscious and you really realize this as your truth you know that like happiness is yours right now right this moment it is yours and it's within you literally you then detach yourself from the outcome you relax into the knowing and when you do you let go of any resistance and whatever it is that you want it literally flows to you effortlessly as you know with or without it you will be more than fine and once you fully come to this realization it's pure bliss pure abundance, totally detached from any outcomes, not forcing anything. By doing so, you literally attract abundance. And remember you guys, whenever you feel like when you're manifesting, you want to like attach yourself to the outcome. Remember that that's your mind that's attaching. It wants to cling and hold what the true essence of yourself, your higher self, would never attach or cling or hold on to anything. Your true self is pure joy, love, happiness without attachment. It can feel like such a paradox whilst you're like within it 
because it's like often when you're working from the mind you basically attach yourself to the outcome and you think oh if I could just have I'll be happy but it's like literally once you realize you are happiness and you can be happy right now that's when everything flows to you and remember you guys whenever you believe like something is out of your reach like say you believe like one million pounds is out of your reach remember all beliefs are imagined limitations and a belief is basically just a thought that we think over and over in the conscious mind which then gets fed into the subconscious mind because remember the subconscious mind it is subject to the conscious mind and once it's basically into the subconscious mind it will start to show up and become your reality and the amazing news is if you can program yourself negatively you can also program yourself positively as well. I would like to read to you a paragraph from the book Awareness and it basically states happiness is our natural state. Happiness is the natural state of little children to whom the kingdom belongs until they have been polluted and contaminated by society and culture. To acquire happiness, you don't have to do anything because happiness cannot be acquired. Does anybody know why? Because we already have it. How can you acquire what you already have? Then why don't you experience it? You've got to drop illusions. You don't have to add anything in order to be happy. You've got to drop something. Life is easy, life is delightful. It is only hard on your illusions. And from the same book, another great quote is, the only reason you're experiencing that you're unhappy is because you're identifying with an unhappy thought. So basically, you guys, this is so massive. Literally, to be happy, you do not need to add absolutely nothing. If you are unhappy and not experiencing happiness, you need to drop stuff. So you need to like drop the negativity, drop the illusions, drop the negative thoughts that you're believing basically. I really hope that this video helps you to understand and understand and awaken to your truth that you are limitless, unlimited, infinite potential. And the only limits are the ones that you set for yourself. And I really hope that it brings you a sense of infinite happiness that's within you and help you to like no longer seek it externally. Because when we seek it externally, remember the external is forever changing from the seasons, etc. It's just it's always changing. So if we place our happiness externally, then it it will basically be fleeting. And also, don't get me wrong, guys, the external can give us so much happiness and joy, but don't allow it like to be dependent on your happiness, if you see what I mean. So know it as your truth that happiness is you and you no longer need to seek outside of yourself because you are happiness. It's your natural state. And may you always find the true happiness within you and whenever you feel like you aren't in happiness step back into the awareness the true you beyond the thoughts the, the one who is conscious and aware of the thoughts I really hope that it helps you immensely it's really been helping me to like especially like when I go through things that before like my old self would have extremely struggled with and now that I'm like the conscious observer of my thoughts I no longer have to identify with the thoughts and I realize I'm no longer struggling because I'm truly like in my infinite self and I hope you can find your infinite self to just quiet the mind or observe the mind
and don't believe the illusions. And another really good thing is whenever you feel happy and at peace, you are in alignment. And when you are in alignment, that's when you attract more abundance, more manifestations, everything that you want, you attract more good. May you always have the happiness and peace that we all deserve. Peace, love and light. I shall see you guys in my next upload.